Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and it is time for my October In and Out. I'm really starting to love filming these in and outs. I love to see what I'm bringing in to my library and especially what I'm getting out. It is getting more and more fun to unhaul, to decide what I want on my shelves, to make that decision and feel happy about what is on my shelves and be excited about what is on here. So let's start with what I'm unhauling. Uh, there are a couple Kindle books that I got rid of due to my read it or not challenge this month. I will link that video up above. Uh, but the two or are there three? No, two I'm getting rid of are I Choose You by Gail Curtis and Little Sister by L. Mar, I believe. There'll be pictures here. Uh, so those two, I just decided I didn't even want to give a try. I read the synopses and just didn't think they were for me. I got them for free on an Amazon First Choice deal, and I just didn't think that they would be long-lasting in my brain. So I decided to delete those off of my Kindle. Also from that Read It or Not challenge, I am getting rid of Most Wanted by Lisa Scottolini. This is one that my mom had lent to me and I went back and forth about putting books on here to unhaul that were borrowed. Technically, I am unhauling them, getting them off of the number on my shelves uh, because I have like 20 some odd books that are borrowed. Uh, so I am unhauling them by either giving them back to their rightful owner or in this case, my mom does not want this book back. So I will be unhauling it for her. Uh, this one, didn't seem like it was really going anywhere. It was about a man and woman who had tried for years and years to get pregnant and they finally get pregnant uh, with a donor's sperm and they find out later that the donor is a serial killer. And I assume something happens there, but I just didn't really seem to care about that plot. So I'm unhauling this one. The next three I'm kind of sad about because I got these from one of my patrons. Thank you, Jess. Um, I'm so happy that you sent these to me. However, I just didn't enjoy them as much as I thought I would, and I feel like somebody else will enjoy them more, specifically my dad. I want to give them to my dad and have him try them out. He loves sci-fi, and so I think that he will enjoy these fingers crossed. Uh, I should tell you what I'm unhauling. This is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, and then she also has A Closed and Comet Orbit and Record of a Spaceborn Few. I think it's just a trilogy, or maybe there are four in this series, but I, I enjoyed the atmosphere of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, but I just didn't really see it going anywhere. I loved the characters, and some of the messages that this book had. Like, I, I marked, I tabbed things, uh, definitely. Oh, I have a bookmark in here. Uh, and some, some really sweet moments about people traveling through space and um, just connecting in ways that maybe others can't. However, I just, I was a little bored, um, and I feel like I won't want to pick up these others just because of the feeling of, I don't want to say boredom because it, it wasn't boring, but just like, is nonchalance a word? The lack of care, I guess. I don't know. No, it wasn't care either. I can't quite put it into words, but it just didn't inspire me to pick it up and I wouldn't want to pick up two more books in a series if I didn't enjoy the first one in the way that I should. So I am getting rid of these three and most likely I will be just handing them off to my dad. So they'll be staying in the family. And then the last one I am unhauling, I actually already gave back to a friend. It was one that I had borrowed probably a year ago. It is The Whalebone Theater by Joanna Quinn. Uh, I had the opportunity to see this friend. She lives two hours away and so I needed to give it back to her when I saw her. Uh, this one was, again, borrowed, so I had to give it back to her. It was an enjoyable story about World War II, but ultimately way too long. Uh, I think I gave it three and a half stars. Um, just nothing, like, that caught my fancy, I guess. It was, it was, um, pretty similar to other World War II stories, I feel. It had a little different scope with, um, the theme running throughout of theater and acting, but I just... I don't know. It was just okay for me. Um, so I'm glad that that is when I borrowed instead of purchased. If you were counting, I think that is seven unhauls. And now let's get to 
what I'm hauling this month. Uh, the first is my book of the month book. I got The God of the Woods by Liz Moore. This was not an October choice for book of the month, but I decided to get it as like a member fave. And I have heard really great things about this um, mystery suspense. And um, it's almost a little bit literary too. Uh, it says, when a teenager vanishes from her Adirondack summer camp, two worlds collide. Um, it looks like there's some historical aspects in this and I've just heard really, really phenomenal things. Like everyone that I've seen who's read it gave it five stars. So that's really uh, great and I am hoping it works for me. Wow, it is a big book, almost 500 pages, but looking forward to getting to it eventually. And that's actually the only book I bought this month. The rest were gifted to me. Uh, so I'll just talk about those. The lovely Jess, one of my patrons, sent me, I believe, the second in the Bridgerton series. I don't actually know that for sure, but this is an offer from a gentleman. It is Benedict's story. So um, I enjoyed the first in the Bridgerton series, uh, The Duke and I, and I really do want to read the books before I watch the Netflix series. So I'm so happy that Jess gave this book to me and that I can continue on in the series. Um, the first one was just so light and fun, and I feel like if I continue on with that series, I will just get that vibe. So uh, yeah, excited to have this one on the shelves. The next three were from a publisher. My sister has a friend who is in publishing, and uh, she actually sent my library, my school library, a bunch of books. However, we already had these copies on our shelves, and in discussing it with my para, uh, she was like, just take these ones. Um, they're soft cover for the most part, and we don't really like having soft cover in the library. They just um, get used way too quickly um, and damaged way too quickly. So I'm keeping these for myself, and I'm very, very happy and thank Anastasia for these books. Uh, so the first is A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger. I have not read this one, but heard, again, phenomenal things. Um, it is about a Texas teen who comes face to face with a cousin's ghost and vows to unmask the murderer from Newbery Honor winning Darcy Little Badger. Um, I know that there is some indigenous representation in this and I am looking forward to giving it a try. The other two I have actually read, um, it is kind of a duology, but more so standalones, um, by Donna Barba Higuera. So this is The Last Quintista and Ella Brie Hayes. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy to own this. Look at this cute little cutout. Uh, yeah, I'm just so pleased to own these. This was a four star and this was a five, or maybe this was four and a half, but these are such great stories. And I love that I can have them on my shelves and pass the story on to my kids eventually because they are truly phenomenal sci-fi books, uh, post-apocalyptic, and just really, really beautiful. So yes, so happy to have these on my shelves. The last is from my mom. She had gotten this one at a thrift store. I think she and my dad read it, loved it, and uh, are passing it on to me. So this is The Diamond Eye by Kate Quinn. I am a Kate Quinn lover. I own most of her books, I would say, and now I own The Diamond Eye. Um, this is about a sniper, a female sniper during World War II. And oh my gosh, cool, there's a map in here. I am just excited to dive into another story by Kate Quinn. She just has phenomenal female characters. They are strong, they are smart, and she is a great storyteller. So yay, I'm so excited to have this one. Thank you, mom and dad. And that is six that we're adding to the shelves. So let's just quick do some numbers. Here's a graph or a chart. Um, we added six books to my shelves and got rid of seven books from my shelves. So that is pretty dang good if you ask me. Uh, especially with books that I read this month, we are lowering the physical TBR. Let's show that chart. Sorry, I'm just pulling it up so I can give you real numbers <laughs> instead of just making things up. All right, here we go. So... At the end of September, I had 227 physical books on my shelves. I had 52 Kindle books and 22 borrowed books for a total of 301 books on my unread TBR. Now looking at October, 
We did go up in the physical category. I have 228 physical books unread on my shelves, but then Kindle went down by two and Borrowed went down by two. Kindle has 50 and Borrowed has 20. So my overall total went down by three books. I have 298 books that are unread on my shelves. I'm under 300. That feels really good. And it's just a motivator for me to keep bringing that number down. I am excited and uh, energized to get rid of books on my shelves, which is weird because I feel like just like reading, I feel like book collecting comes in ebbs and flows. Like for a while, you just like buy books and buy books and buy books. And then you get overwhelmed by all the books you have on your shelves and realize you probably can't read all of them, nor will you love all of them. And so that's when you maybe do a purge. And I'm feeling kind of in that purge mood, especially because I had this huge reading slump in September, October, and knew that I wouldn't ever be able to read any of those with my mindset. Uh, so I don't know. It's funny how book collecting and book reading are different hobbies and how they kind of are in tandem, but also uh, can help each other out at points by getting rid of books when you are feeling in a reading slumpy mood. Anyway, sorry I'm blabbering on. Um, thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have read any of the books that I hauled or unhauled. If you think I'm making a big mistake with any of the unhauls, let me know. I I don't think I could be swayed anyway with the unhauls, uh, but also let me know of the hauls which I should start with. Like I said, I've already read um, the Donna Barba Higueras, but we've got God of the Woods, Alatsaway, the Bridgerton book, and Diamond Eye that I could pick up next if you can sway me to do so. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!